Hello and welcome to DTWG ED Prep. Welcome. So in today's class, we're going to be looking at how to find the area of a rectangle word problem. Okay, so we're going to go through this word problem together. So here it says, a contractor is tiling a kitchen floor that measures 12 feet by 18 feet. Okay, so let's say this is a rectangular kitchen floor. From here, you can see that when we have 12 feet by 18 feet, it means it's a rectangular um, shape. Okay, if it was 12 feet by 12 feet, then it means it's a square um, shape. So this is a rectangular shape. So when it, this is 18 feet, it means this is the length, while this would be the what width. So let's say here, from here to here is what 18 feet, and from here to here is what 12 feet. Okay, so usually, uh, you need, really need to understand what this word problems because you know most times in a GED test they don't they don't just say find the area of the rectangle. They use word problems, you know, with your knowledge of uh, uh, rectangle for you to solve them. Okay, now it says if each tile measures two feet by three feet. So the contractor wants to tile this whole kitchen floor. Each tile measures what two feet by three feet. How many tiles are needed to cover the floor? So let's say each tile that we're going to put to cover this entire kitchen floor, which is 12 feet by eight feet. So here is three, here is two. So let's say we, we are putting one tile here, right? So here is three feet, here is two feet. Let's say another tile here, three feet, two feet, another tile here, you know, and so on. So we need to know how many tiles, you know, we can't start drawing and drawing and drawing till we cover this floor. We need to know how many tiles, you know, the contractor has to measure. Okay, he has measured this as the entire kitchen floor. He knows that each tile is this. So how many of those tiles are we going to need? To know that all we need to know do is find the area of the the space that he wants to um, cover. Find the area of the space, okay? And the area of the space is what twelve times what eighteen. That's the area of the rectangle. So we have uh, area is what length times width, which is what eighteen times twelve, and that would give us what two one six square feet, okay? We also have to find the um, area of each each of the tile, okay? To know um, what the space each tile um, occupies. So, and the area of one tile is what? This area is what length times breadth, uh, width, which is what um, your three times two, which will give us what six square feet. So then to know the total amount of tiles we're going to need, it's just simply, you know, dividing this 216 by what? Six, uh, six feet square, okay? So if, if one, if one tile is six feet square, then to know how many tiles would occupy this two one, this whole space here, the area is what two one six feet square. So to know how many tiles will occupy it, to be we are going to divide two one six feet square by six feet square. That's the area of one tile, and that would give us what thirty six. Okay, so we're going to have thirty six. We need thirty six tiles to cover up this entire floor, okay? So that's how you solve this particular question. You see, you have to break it down, your understanding of what problem in mass, break it down and try to use pictures if possible, okay? And you would easily get it, all right? So this is how you solve this question. All right, thank you. All right, and don't forget, please, uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and also you can check our website for summary notes, study guides, free practice questions, and G your GED uh, formula sheet download free, all on our website, dtwgedprep.com. You can also join our Facebook group, we're over 11,000 in our community, in our group, and um, you know, you can ask several questions on um, GED in your area, in your states, what it's like and um, what to study and all that you know it's a community to encourage you motivate you and also if you need one-on-one -on -one math tutorial you can contact me i will leave my email in the video description box of this video all links i will leave in the video description box of this video so thank you and also finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon 
give your life to Christ, for He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. He is the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last, and also give us that life, heaven on earth here. So thank you, and see you in our next video.